Hi, I'm Scott Houston. I'm going to show you and teach you three hacks to get you playing piano in a lot of non-classical styles a lot faster than what most people do when they go through traditional piano methods. Okay, so let's dig in. What I'm going to tell you about are what I call three hacks, if you will, uh, and things that I think it's really important to know if you're wanting to play non-classical piano. And by that, I mean, you know, jazz, pop, blues, you know, rock and roll, gospel, really anything that's not, you know, a classical piece of music. In all these other styles, there's really a few things that you do very different, and not a lot of people are aware of them. The good news is, once I tell you about them, it's going to get you on a path to playing a lot faster. All right, hack number one. That is, don't think that learning to read music is always step number one. Now, what I mean by that is, I think a lot of people have a wrong impression that, that you know, wow, if I, don't learn to read, if I don't learn how to be a good note reader, I can't learn to be a good piano player. Well, that is the case in classical piano, and that's, that's a cool thing, actually, but to learn the repertoire and to, get, and to play more advanced pieces, you need to become a better reader. They, they are locked together. You can't play better until you read better. Well, you know, in non-classical styles, that's just not the case because we kind of use a different kind of notation that I'm going to tell you about here in a second. But the point is, you can, you know, you can be a not very good reader at all and still be a good player. I mean, how do blind players play well, right? How Stevie Wonder learn how to play? And I'm not trying to be crass in any way, but it's, just, it's, it's a truism, okay? Um, so although it's a cool thing to be able to read, and in fact, we will want to learn how to read a little bit, just don't think that you can't get started or that you can't become a pretty proficient player until you become a great reader. That's just not, not realistic in our styles, okay? Now, hack number two is I encourage you right off the bat to learn a few chords. I mean, the way it works in most Western music and in most pop music, if you learn four or five or six chords, you'll know the chords to probably... And I'm not making that. I mean, who knows what this number is? It's so big. It's, it's a bombastic. I mean, hundreds of thousands, and I'm not making that up. You will know the chords to hundreds of thousands of tunes if you learn four or five chords, right? You learn three chords, you're probably close to that because there's only three chords in the blues, and that's what so much of our pop music is based on. So, you know, the, the hack number two would be until you, you know, to all these other things you can do and just learn a few chords and play around with them a little bit, and then you're really going to get your ears opened up to this whole concept of, wow, you mean that's how it's all done? Hack number three, that is, use something called a lead sheet to read from as opposed to traditional notation. Now, what's a lead sheet? A lead sheet is a different kind of notation that professionals use. For example, when you're in a recording session and they, they throw a tune in front of you, they don't give you a fully notated piece of sheet music very often. They usually just give you something called a lead sheet. And all a lead sheet has on it is the melody, you know, the part someone would sing or the, the notes that you'd recognize of a tune, and chord changes. And that's the key. They just give you the chords similar to what guitar players play. It'll say, you know, C, G7, A flat minor, whatever that, but it won't be all notated. So that's what a lead sheet is, just a melody line with the chords up on top of it. And reading from a lead sheet is really the key to, to swinging open the door and to learning to play very quickly. So that's it. Those are my three hacks. One, don't believe that you have to become a great note reader before you can become a good player. Two, learn a few chords. Just get a few chords under hand right off the bat. And whoever lessons you're teaching or however you're learning to do things or do it yourself, get a few chords learned because it, it's the absolute basics of what you need to start playing in a style. And then three, to start learning tunes, learn them from something called a lead sheet, not traditional notation. I hope that helps, you know, you and you're, you're kind of shoving off the cliff if you're just getting started as a new player. Thanks. I'm Scott Houston.